Hey, welcome into HouseOfSparky.com. I'm Troy Lynch, and I'm alongside Arizona State running back Kalen Balaj, and we're here at Pac-12 Football Media Day here in Hollywood. Kalen, please tell me you're having a good time. Yeah, no, it's been a lot of fun. Um, just being around all these guys from different schools, it's just giving me the opportunity to really see, you know, how much talent is in the Pac-12. So, um, yeah, it's been fun. Went to Universal Studios and oh, messed that's around. Fun. So. We, I got to be a kid again last night. So you, when did you come in on your private jet? First of all, that's ridiculous, but that's uh, awesome at the same time. No, it's cool. Um, yeah, I've never flown on a private jet until yesterday morning, so it was a cool experience. And just being out here has been a lot of fun. The weather's great. It's not yeah. 195 degrees. What's so. your practicing in back home? <sighs> Every day. Go from Colorado to Arizona to, Arizona. to here. <laughs> no, nah, but I, I mean, I wanted to get out of the Colorado and get out of the cold, so I guess that's my fault. Yeah. I don't work well in the cold. Yeah, so. well, see. So Arizona's nice. Yeah, it's nice for you. Yeah. So you're working with slime. How was that? I saw you. You had a pretty good flubber. I had the best slime. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says from any other school. I had the best slime. Challenge me if you want to. I don't think I wouldn't challenge you. No. I, I saw it. It was in good. person, it was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, another thing, you are ridiculous at football. So much <laughs> hype coming into this season. So many watch lists that you're on. How are you handling that? I mean, I know you've gotten attention before but this is a new type of attention I feel like I don't really feed into the hype as just not really the player I am I just stay I stay humble I stay grounded and um, it's it's nice to see that I'm on that stage because this is somewhere that I've always wanted to be sure but at the same time like I said I just stay humble and continue to do what I've always done what helps you stay humble because I feel like in your shoes that's pretty hard to do Nah, my roots where I come from yeah I came from nothing and so my, my family taught me and raised me well, and it's easy to stay humble when, when you've had that great foundation. Yeah, I bet their support just is able to carry you yeah, through your senior absolutely. season. Absolutely. Um, I mean, it's motivation, and, and it allows me to go out and really try to be the best that I can be every day. You know, my mom and my dad, brothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, everybody's so supportive of everything that I've always done, so right. I appreciate that. And senior year, right around the corner, college football season, what are you most excited for? I'm just excited to show what this Arizona State football team is all about. You know, we've had two down years, and but that but it's, it's time for that to be over now. You know, and it's time to get back to doing what we've always done, and that's win football games. And how do you guys plan on doing that? I mean, I know you guys are picked to finish, projected to finish fifth in the Pac-12 South, but I feel like you guys can upset some people. The Pac-12 is never right. Yeah, that's a good point. They never get that right, <laughs> and every year they're wrong about that, and that's that one thing is for sure. So. We just want to play hard. We don't worry about all the, the rankings and stuff like that. Right. You play hard. You take one step at a time. You'll find yourself at the top before you know it. Coach Todd Graham said you guys have a little more of an edge this season than you did last. Is that true? Absolutely. We got a chip on our shoulder, you know, two, two five, uh, six and seven and five and seven, seven season. That's not what we wanted. It's not, you know, anything that uh, we wanted. So we want to win football games, and that's what we're we're looking forward to. And last season, end the season on a six-game losing streak, but a lot of that was due to injuries. Are you guys doing anything differently, especially with your new facilities, to try to prevent? Yeah, just working more on recovery and taking <laughs> care of our bodies. You know, not overexerting ourselves um, when we don't have to. Right. And I think that you know the no two days thing probably helps out with that. <laughs> Coach Grant probably hates it. He's old-fashioned. I want to tackle every day, hit every day. So, <laughs> no, nah, but it's it's nice. That's cool. And about that new facility, that talk about ridiculous and private jets all you want, but that facility is something <laughs> no, else. No, it's state of the art. And, you know, that's something that we kind of feel like now we have to live up to that expectation and play to that level, you know, to, to kind of match everything that's around us in the facility. Right. And then the underclassmen that are coming in right now, is there anybody that you're looking at in particular who can make an impact right away? We got some really good DBs in this class. Um, and I, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you one because we have like six or seven that, right. that can really play. And that's what we needed. That's what we were lacking last year. Yeah. And, you know, we'll be able to, um, you know, get get ahead with that. I think it's better that you have more DBs since losing Kareem Orr and Armand Perry. I mean, yeah. That was kind of rough to see them go, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, those are those are our brothers, and they'll be our brothers forever no matter where they go. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, Armand retired, and Kareem decided that, you know, that somewhere else was better for him. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. But, you know, we're going to move forward and, and continue to, to do what we do. Is there any opponent that you're really looking forward to face? I know everybody. Texas Tech's on the schedule. <laughs> nah, everybody. <laughs> I can't wait to play, but my, my eyes are set on the first game. Right. And I don't look any too, I don't look any past that. Yeah. And I know you said you're not really looking forward to the NFL draft, but does that 
in the back of your mind at all? No, nah, I don't think about it. That's um, great. Good for you. I, I continue to play football. And it's be where your feet are. That's really my motto. I, I say that in everything that I do because it's it's important that you focus on right now to get to where you're trying to go. Mm -hmm. And I know there's there's a motto, and let me try to get this right. You want to come to a place and you want to leave that place a little bit better than where you found than it. Than where you found it, absolutely. How are you going to try to do that? Um, just continue to impact this university. Um, I've made a lot of big plays in my career and I've done a lot of cool things, but I'm, ne I'm a person that's never settled, uh, I, and I, I want to be the best to do it ever. Yeah, and being named a captain for your senior year, I'm sure that feels good. No, it's it's awesome, and it's it's cool because my peers voted me a yeah. team captain, not the coaches, and that's that's cool too. Don't get me wrong. Sure. But it's about the people that you're in the locker room with, the people that you're gonna be playing with, the people that you spend all the time with. And that's them. And they voted me a team captain. So that's that's important. Well, we're really looking forward to seeing you on the field. But before we go, I got a couple fun questions for you. I follow you on Instagram. And I would say without a doubt, you have the best style on the team. <laughs> true or false? True. True? True. Absolutely You got true. that like Russell Westbrook-esque. But yeah, like got, you're a little more like subtle, but it's still styling. Yeah, I got some style. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really into fashion though. Oh, I'm that's not, great. I'm not just a football player, you know? And I, I, I think that you need to decompress when you get off the field and, and get away from being a football player all the time, you sure. know, because it'll drive you crazy. So I love fashion. I love music. I love cars. I love, there's so many things that I'm into. So fashion is one of them. You can decompress going to Encounter. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. They're French toast. Fire. <laughs> it's so good. Fire. I'd Bananas, eat there every day if I had oh, to. Oh yeah. It's oh good. my. Okay. Pre-game music. What do you listen to? Uh, honestly, it can be artists. It can be different honestly, genres. Honestly, too much. I listen to too much. I really, <laughs> I really just put it on shuffle because I have so much music like on my phone yeah. that I don't necessarily listen to one person every time. Like, okay. I'll just shuffle it and it's like, oh dang, I forgot I even had this song on here. <laughs> yeah. But this is perfect for right now. Sure. So I'm oh yeah. To it. That's great. What about a movie? You watch a, a movie, movie before you get like pumped up before a game? No. Nah. JoJo said 300, which was a solid choice. Oh yeah. No, that's a good movie. But really, I just watch football. Um, highlights of other people or big players or, so, or stuff like that. But um, I just watch other football games before we play because, you know, we always play at 1 in the morning. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's ridiculous. <laughs> well, Kalen, I appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, and we're no all really looking forward to seeing you this upcoming football season. And we want to thank you for joining us here at Pac-12 Football Media Day on HouseOfSparky.com.